Hi there, Steve here. In this video I'm going to show you how to add extra joints to a rig that is already attached to a smooth skinned mesh. So if you have a rig that has been automatically created by either MZ Snake Tool or MZ Fish Tool, this is how you can add extra joints to your rig. In this example I'll use MZ Snake Tool to create a snake rig and then I'll add an extra joint to open the snake's mouth. So I'll open MZ Snake Tool, select my mesh, click on Create Rig, and then Attach Rig. Then wait while the skin weights are adjusted for the mesh. Then I'll turn off the Snake Mesh Original Layer. Now if we open up the Outliner window and look in the Snake Controls group, we can see a joint called Snake One Head. If I select this joint and rotate it, you can see that it moves the head of the snake mesh. I'd like my new joint to control the snake's mouth, so I'll make it a child of this head joint. But if I wanted my new joint to control any other part of the snake's body, I could position the joint at any other part of the snake's skeleton. So I'll go to the front view to create my new joints, and in the skeleton menu, select create joints, and then create two joints for the jaw. I'll rename my joint to jaw, then I'll move it up to the snake one head joint. You can see my jaw joint has disappeared because snake one head joint visibility is set to off. So I'll select the snake one head joint, then in the channel box, change the visibility to on. Now I've added my new joint to the rig, but at the moment it's not attached to the snake mesh. So to do this, I select the snake mesh and then the jaw joint, then in the skin menu, Go to Edit Influences and select the Add Influence Settings. I'll reset the Add Influence Settings. Now when I bind this joint to my snake mesh, I don't want it to change any of the existing skin weights. So I'm going to select Lock Weights and leave the default weight set to zero. Then click Add. The jaw joint is now attached to the snake mesh, so let's select our snake mesh then go into the skin menu and select the paint skin weight settings. And now we can see our jaw joint is in the list of influences. I'm going to set normalize weights to interactive because I want the weighting of each mesh vertex to add up to one. Because the jaw will open and close, I'm going to keyframe my jaw joint in both positions. So as I work on the vertex weights, I can see how the mesh looks as it moves between both positions. So at frame 0, I'll key the jaw Z rotation in the mouth closed position. Then at frame 100, I'll rotate the jaw Z rotation to open up the mouth. Now I don't need to see my joints anymore, so I'll add them to the snake joints layer and turn off that layer. Now I'm going to select all the vertices which I would like to be affected by the jaw joint. Open the component editor, which is in Windows, General Editors, Component Editor, and in the Smooth Skins tab, find the Jaw Joint, and set all the weights to 1. Now if we move along the timeline, we can see the mouth open as the Jaw Joint rotates. I'll go back to Object Mode, select my Mesh, and then reopen the Paint Skin Weights window. Set the Paint Operation to Smooth and then smooth the weighting around the base of the jaw. So now we have our new joint added to our rig, bound to our mesh, and skin weights adjusted for our new joint. So now we can continue with the MZ Snake tool by attaching our rig to a path and creating animation.